So what's up guys, the GTA 6 trailer just dropped out of nowhere, it is the middle of the night, it is 6 o'clock EST, December 4th, and the trailer has officially dropped, this is not cap, this is real, it premiered 11 minutes ago based on whatever time, uh, I already watched it so this is not a reaction, but this will be a breakdown, and there's definitely a lot of things to take in here during this trailer, like a ton, a ton, a ton, so... If you haven't watched it already, go ahead, do yourself a favor, go watch it. It is insane visually. It is so, so good looking. The leaks that we got over a year ago are nothing compared to this. So yeah, let's uh, let's just start it and watch it. Of course, it's at half speed, as well as I also have the music muted. So right away, we get a beautiful pink and orange glow visual here. I think we see the city in the background, so this is probably going to be in... Probably a countryside, highway-looking place. Uh, the cars look fairly similar so far. There are a lot of cool-looking cars I saw from the trailer. Boat trailers are back here. I might as well full-screen it. Hold on. I'm selling. I'm just so excited. This dropped completely out of nowhere. It's 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 insane. We have uh, planes returning, I guess. We have birds in the background here. So, obviously, we'll see some animals. And to play it forward a little bit, not too much to see here. We see a boat, kind of in the in the in the in the background there too, probably under this bridge. Uh, I forget what these places are called in the background here. Not that it really matters. And there's a prison in the background here as well. And this is where the next scene ends up. Is actually in the prison. We see the barbed wire, and this is where Lucia is. We see uh, she talks Lucia. We have some dialogue here, and the inmate shirt and she's looking out she's in what looks to be a rehab sort of thing with this character here and um she's obviously guilty for her crimes she admits it that it's just bad luck i guess as you see in the subtitles here not a whole lot we can see i tried my best to take a look at some of these photos let's actually rewind it just a tad bit um there's they're really hard to make out this is the best quality i can have it at 1080p oh actually no it can go up to 1440p i'm selling i'm sorry I, we see a little cat statue or something we can't really make too much out of this if there is something i miss of course leave a comment <laughs> this is just so bonkers man it just dropped out of nowhere dude what the hell uh louis lucia i mean facially looks uh like the, the the facial recognition looks amazing so far and we'll definitely see more the hair physics look really really cool too on the next scene we have a mini yacht here a mini yacht we have some i'm not a wildlife specialist or especially oceanic wildlife specialist we got what looks like to be a bigger hammerhead shark type creature and maybe some dolphins or something orcas no clue uh, and then we have this little mini yacht here, which is drivable, and it's not hugely sized. It's, like, medium-sized. Definitely not the yacht that we have in GTA Online that we can purchase for ourselves. Uh, this could be cool, though. It could have, like, a little interior. Or, uh, I don't know. Looks cool, though. I'll take it. The water physics, I mean, goddamn, they look fucking beautiful, dude. And we see some more boats, people chilling out on the jet skis, a ton of seagulls. And this was insane right here. This shot of a beach. I mean, there are a thousand plus people here easily. Now, whether this is for the trailer or this will be for the real game, we do not know, obviously. But, I mean, right now, it looks very, very cool. And then we get to see some of the hotels that, of course, overlook the beach. And just another uh, sight of the skyline of the city here. We got a helicopter. It looks like a Maverick helicopter right here. Uh, nothing else I see. Uh, yeah, we got ATVs driving on the beach. I saw a truck earlier, I think, in the f in the future shot. Oh, yeah, there's a truck right there. Rockstar Games presents... Not, not too much. Oh, we have a uh, plane in the background here. Why stay mine when you can nine dine and wine or something? like this? So that's probably like a radio station ad. Maybe not a something. I don't know. I can't really tell. It's really hard to read up here in the upper right corner. Um... And the Maverick Chopper. Uh, uh, I don't think any of those roofs of hotels had a like pool area or something. Okay, so we gotta back this up. The, this build, I mean, just visually, this game looks so gorgeous, man. So gorgeous, and it looks like there's towels on this balcony getting dried off, probably by people 
that are currently at this hotel. So will we be able to enter these hotels every floor? Probably not. But it looks like there will be people out in the balconies and actually pretending to live there, or like just like actual realistic NPC activity. That's that's really cool. Where we might actually see some of these hotels actually be used, not only at the lobby. It looks like here, but actually in the rooms and actually looking out on the balconies. That's really cool. It seems some of like the towels and stuff. Um, wow, just still visually, visually so, so impressive. We've, they've come a long way from the leaks back in 2022, let me tell you. Let me get a shot of the swamps. Um, I can't make out that firearm there. Or who's on it? It might be Jason and Lucia. Or Lucia and another character. Really, really hard to tell. And we have a bunch of animals. Don't know what kind of animals. <laughs> Uh, you think my wildlife knowledge would be a bit better because I played a lot of Red Dead, but no, we got some little baby ducks here. That's cute. And a baby croc, baby gator. Um, this is giving me Red Dead 2 vibes. Very open landscape, uh, swampy area that's known in Florida or the Everglades, whatever they're called. So this is um, not going to be too visually impressive, but it's going to be probably a big chunk of the map. I don't know. I say not going to be too visually impressive, but it's going to be a lot of water, mud, and just green, you know. I, obviously, the game looks visually very impressive. It looks so good. And this shot blew my mind. I mean, there are so many people out here on the beach. We have a truck back here. Looks like they're dropping off a boat because they do have a boat trailer, but the boat trailer is currently naked. There is nothing on the trailer, obviously. And we have a Sparrow helicopter, I noticed. And we have a... I forget the name of it, but it comes with the yacht. So it's like... Um, obviously, reused vehicles are going to be used in GTA 6. It is a modern-day game as well as GTA Online. And that's perfectly acceptable. That is realistic. We have a little Chihuahua here. I just noticed that, too. There is so much to take in. I mean... <laughs> wow. I mean, just looking around here, it never, ever ends. There's so many people here on this beach, whether this is going to be a regular thing. I mean, look at how far this beach stretches for. Like, that could be a very well mile of just packed with NPCs. Packed, unpacked, unpacked with NPCs. And that is incredible. Though, I, I wouldn't mind a social space like this being packed with NPCs, but not seeing it on the streets because I personally like driving without too many people on the road. I don't like realistic LA or realistic Miami traffic, so I'm cool with this. A social area with all of these people. I'm trying to look at some of the clothes or... I said, whoa, okay. But there's a chihuahua. I mean, this dude's abs. I mean, look, look impressive, like for a video game. That's like photorealistic from that far away. Like, I feel like... I'm watching a vlog of some, like, fitness person model on, like, YouTube or something. This is a video game. This guy's taking a picture of that, uh, never mind. Okay, uh, moving on. We got a cool little, what looks like to be a boat race. We got a couple pairs of people here. Um, and we got the docks. Docks have been nothing super cool. Another, uh, shot of the city in the background. Another plane. So we got a few boats here. We I don't think I can make out any of the characters. This I'm guessing is Lucia. Will it actually voice? Oh, I have it at half speed, so we're not gonna be able to hear her. So this is Lucia. It looks like she's sitting up in a convertible. Obviously she is, but whether this is gonna be an actual feature, we do not know. Being able to like uh, hang out of a convertible or hang out the window of a car. I believe we saw that, as well as this guy here. He looks like he's hanging out the window to take a picture. I know we could, from the leaks, based on what we saw, actually be able to have a bit more options when it comes to hanging outside of windows and being a passenger. Oh! Sorry, I'm so overwhelmed. Let me actually back up before I come to there. So, being able to hang out, take pictures as a passenger, maybe you can sit up on the roof of a convertible, and here's another shot I would really like to take a look at, too, later later on. I'm so overwhelmed. This is... Wow. I mean, and I'm pretty sure this is Jason Lucia. I mean, I, I don't really think there's an argument. We got a... I think that's Jason. You can't really get a good look at his face. But let's just move on. They're on the freeway. Lots of cars. Let's actually go back. How many cars are here? Okay, so that's acceptable. That's like GTA Five traffic. That's acceptable. I'm okay with that. Because obviously, a lot of traffic, though it is more realistic, it can get really annoying. And this, oh my god, I have to put this at uh, 0.25 speed, sorry. 
So, looks like we got some new customized rims. I mean, this is a really cool shot of being able to take a look at some of the customizations we'll be, uh, be able to use on cars. We've seen LSPD. Well, it's not going to be LSPD. It might be um, VCPD chopper. It looks very similar to the LSPD chopper. Um, uh, it could be the asset of the LSPD chopper. Just reskin. Actually, probably is. Who am I kidding? But I can't really make out this car. I'm not a huge car guy. We got some pinstripes down here. Customizations of the cars look really, really cool. And we have some lowriders returning, as well as some back window decals. Maybe we'll get some more decal options. This looks pretty GTA 5 esque. The customizations on the car so far, nothing too, too crazy. Um, but yeah, it looks good. I mean, look at this building. This is a cool looking car meet. We have a, um, I forget what the, I, I believe they're called cavalcades in GTA 5. And these two cars look similar as well. I, this car, I do not recognize. I have not bought every single new car in GTA Online there is. So I can't sit here and tell you that I recognize or don't recognize each and every one of these cars. Um, but yeah, I mean, just visually, wow. And let's take a look. There's a lot of people at this car meet. Looks like we have a woman here taking a selfie with the cars. And we have a motorcycle, and we have even more cars. It looks like we get the back end of a motorcycle right here. Uh, some more, like, just pimped up cars, dude. It looks sweet. This bike could be new. I do like the livery on it, the black and sort of gray camo livery. Uh, just, just so much to take in. So, so, so much to take in. And, yeah, uh, we get a look at a license plate, too. Pretty clear look over here. Um, Going to be all white. Probably, uh, and there will be, I guess, randomized, just like they were in GTA 5. They're not just going to say Liberty City like they did in GTA 4, which is nice. Um, really not much to take in. I mean, just visually stunning. Okay, and then we have the, the uh, strip club, which looks super cool. It, it's so packed. <laughs> Make it rain Mondays. It is a Monday. That's hilarious. And there's just so many people here and so many animations and the physics to uh, take in here. And look at the money tr falling from the sky. Let's, let's back up a little. Let's look at the money falling from the sky. It looks sweet. Visually, the, um, the, the candles or sparklers or whatever. There's so many people in that club. It is actually insane. I would love to see a lot of social interiors be like this or just interiors in general be really packed and... All that sort of stuff. This looks so... It looks really, really cool. Oh, eh. And I'm, I'll continue on. It's already been 13 minutes, and I'm only 30 seconds into the trailer. Looks like we got a character here. Um, I don't recognize him. If he's like a an artist or something in real life, I do not recognize him personally. He could be someone. I do like his chains, though. His chains look sweet and very, very detailed. This looks like a bowl. Kind of like a Chicago Bulls logo. Don't really get to see much in the background here. We get a, s a sign. Um, the rings, watches, chains, glasses. Maybe we'll be able to get grills. And maybe there will actually be a dread or some decent um, dread haircuts in the game too. That would be cool. That would be cool. All right. And a bandana. Looks pretty cool. He's wearing a chain as well. This shot looks very OG Vice City-esque. See some similar cars here on the street. Um, one of like the OG, what I mean OG Vice City is like it's one of the middle islands. I think where Tommy would live would be like right here. Kind of looks similar. I could be very wrong. Oh man, this looks so pretty, man. I just can't wait to be flying through this toll booth at a million miles an hour with my buddies. Oh man. Um, and there is a release date window at the very end. I'm not going to say it out loud in case you already know or want it to be. Um, not spoiled for you. Ah, uh, man, just the lighting. Everything looks gorgeous. This looks like a real-life photo realistic shot. I like this big yacht here. We got a little baby island. Wow. I mean, I could sit here all day, so we're going to move on. I will move it back up to 0.5 speed. Here we go. Ooh, yes. I was looking forward to this shot. Okay, so a bunch of new cars. Looks like this... Porsche, I believe we already have. This, I don't think we have. This is a Cheetah. Maybe we do. Uh, the Carbon is there. This is an OG uh, GTA 5 car. I mean, just looking down this strip or this boardwalk, looks just so packed. So, so packed. Lots of traffic, though I think that might be for cinematic trailer purposes. 
We have a sitting down guy. He looks like he's got a lizard on his shoulder. Hold on. Does it ever move? I think it moves its head. I think that dude's got a lizard. That's sick, dude. The homeless are sick in this game. Uh, maybe we'll give him the option to give him some money like we could as Arthur Morgan and Reddit, too. Uh, I also recognize a Corvette here. That's uh, from GTA 5. Man. And the Hellcat here. Another Lambo-looking vehicle here. Once again, not a huge car, guys, so I could be very wrong. Looks like the Buffalo here. The Charger from GTA 5 Hotel. Uh, this looks really, really similar to OG Vice City. Like, not visually, obviously, but like the setting. I can definitely recognize this place. Okay, then we have another DJ. Another club, dance club. This looks packed and cool as well. Um, maybe we'll be able to meet some characters here. Maybe the DJ is a celebrity in game that we'll be able to meet. Um, we get another few shots at yachts, boats, cargo ships. That is, that's really cool. A moving cargo ship. So, cargo ship robberies, anyone? I know, I'll be there. Okay, what is that in the background? Not sure, but we have a bridge under construction. Um, some, hopefully it's not similar to the, or, mm, it could be cool. Probably a stunt jump, I'm guessing. Uh, we have a dinghy here, jet ski here, more yachts, more yachts, yachts, yachts. I would love to do some cool yacht robberies or have, I know in one of a wish list video or concept video idea I thought of way, way long ago is I would love an aquatic, more aquatic missions, but more, if they're more fun and like, it's just more convenient. Okay. So we get a good visual of physics here. Uh, yeah, just uh, great physics. Look at the hair. I mean, just the hair physics. Let's slow that down. And then look at her nails, dude. That is so highly detailed. This is a video game. I don't believe it. So we got a rooftop hotel party overlooking the city once again. So maybe we'll be able to live in these hotels, go up and so be social at the roof. That would be really, really stinking cool. Um... Yeah, I mean, God, visually, everything looks so good. Uh, the drink on the phone. Probably some more I could take in here, but um, I'm surprised just how much detail are in the nails. That's crazy. Bracelet, glasses, just everything. I mean, wow. This is photorealistic vice. Yes. Okay, so this is where things get interesting. There's all these social media um videos and stuff now with the just random events i'm guessing that will be happening so we got this old guy hey poppy save some sugar baby for the rest of us dad bod squad so this could be an in-game celebrity hanging out with um some of the some of the uh local ladies on his yacht um very cool shot flag flag i said flag um flag physics look really really good and the body shapes of the women, God, this is so pervy, I know. But there's a lot of differ differences in the body shapes of women, which is very cool, man. Very cool. Um, God, it sounds so pervy. I'm not trying to sound pervy, but definitely a little bit of everyone for your... A little bit of everything for your taste, I guess. And this, this shot's pretty cool. Once again, it's a social media video, so official poach. So maybe we'll be able to do some poaching missions. Um, animal control missions. Stay alert, VC. Remember to check your uninvited guests before the pool party. And there's a guy actually pulling a gator out of a house. This looks like the neighborhood that was potentially in GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition that we saw ages ago with the volumetric clowns. Uh, this is a really cool backyard. Uh, grass and like just look at the weeds look at the weeds creeping up through the concrete and on the edges you don't get really to see much i mean there's a freaking gator in the pool that's sick so probably another random event or maybe a mission we can go on to um woman twerking on a car another a uh social media post so social media might be a big thing in this game or maybe that's how random events will work i don't know so we got a woman hanging out of the window here, which probably could also be used in drive-bys. And then we have a woman on the roof, though I wouldn't want to be twerking on the roof. I wonder if that will be able, we will be able as characters to be able to sit on the roof to shoot um, enemies. Uh, someone called the Department of Transport on this dump truck. Have a vice day. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. And then we have a car meet. This is cool. A little drift meet. Um, people sitting on the backs of cars. This is where... 
like uh, a lot of maybe could have been influenced from RP. I feel like this is a very RP thing. Obviously, this is a single player, and it can very well happen in real life. But uh, this has just got RP screaming all over the place. Got some people dancing on the cars. Um, yeah, wow. Wow. Um, so this interior is obviously painted on. You won't be able to enter there. Um, I'm trying to take in everything, man. I, I can't really see too many of the cars. I can kind of recognize some things. Some do look familiar. Others I can't confidently say. So the drift and... What we really can't take in here is the drift burnouts look phenomenal as well. Um, yeah, just so good. So good. The lighting, the fog. So, so good. So good, man. All right. And then we got another social media post. Maybe she's a celebrity. I don't know. Not much to take in here. And then there's a skater walking through the front door on the CCTV can. This is, this is funny. We, we have lottery tickets here. Interesting. We have lottery tickets. Uh, Okay. And this is a gas station. We see some gas pumps out here. Maybe there is a car parked outside of a gas pump. Maybe we will be able to obtain gas in this game for our vehicles. Oh, my. My, my eye randomly caught this paper towel down here. And how the bag and the wrapper, like the wrapper around the, the towels themselves is like all squished up. And like it's actually physically like correct. Oh, my God. That looks fantastic. And I, I, I love the reaction from all these people. And the reaction is nothing. The worker's like, yeah, the second time this week. This is another really cool shot. We First off, beware of the dog. That looks like Chop, a Rottweiler type dog. And we have a body cam footage of a police raid. We have some information up here. Maybe this is the particular camera officer that took the video. This would be a really cool, or maybe it's first person mode. I can't really tell. But they're raiding what looks like to be a drug house of some sorts. We got... Ooh, this just looks cool. Hold on. Let's let's push it up forward. Uh, I want it to be full screen. Thank you. Go back. Go back. I, I really want to slow this... Slow slow this down. I really want to slow this down. Just to see a bit more. We got the gator just walking in. He looks like he's holding a two-armed weapon. I, it looks, yeah, it's first person. It's first person for sure. So I wonder if there's going to be a lot more immersive first person gameplay we got more people here at gas stations more people here at gas stations a um woman getting chased down by a police officer very cool random event we saw this in the past grand theft autos and once again it's a it's a social media post so i'm guessing social media is going to have a big impact on how this game will uh spread news or some way it'll just be there this is a funny funny uh, shot here only in Le Leonida is a crotch grab and apology for bad driving. This is very, very funny. Another social media post. Really cool tank top. Sweet ass looking tattoos too. I will say. Let me get some uh, freeway. Eyes on the freeway here. Um, um, yeah, this looks like a ruiner. Ruiner something. Imponte ruiner from the game. Was that a tow truck? I believe that was a tow truck. That is definitely a tow truck. Very cool. That tow truck might be picking them up. Once again, we get some shots of some window, back window decals. Vice Vinyl, Cross Town, and I can't make out what that is. And there's a guy doing some sort of stunt. Rip Rudy, see you in heaven, cuz. Well, maybe we won't be able to do it because this guy probably died from doing this dumbass stunt. Maybe we'll be able to do this as drivers. That would be cool, like some Just Cause shit. That would be cool. He's sagging as well. Okay, let's not pause there. He's sagging as well. Um, quite quite a lot. Wait, hold on. Let's back up. Look at this. Look at this mirror right here. Look at how it actually reflects what is going on behind him. Slow it way down. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Even the side mirror here too. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Maybe we do have an option to follow uh, Rudy. R.I.P. Rudy. That'd be cool if we could do some stunts. Ooh, wait a second. I just caught a glimpse of some, like... I don't know what to call this. I don't want to say glitter. But it's, like, sparkly. Sparkly paint jobs. Very, very cool looking on the right vehicle. Definitely on the right vehicle. Could look really cool. We got this man. Uh, definitely a retired old man. Living his best life in a thong. Watering the grass. It doesn't look like that's really grass. Looks more like weeds, but he's vibing. 
he's got a pool in the backyard an above ground pool that's actually really cool and um yeah just really cool look at the trees everything just visually looks so impressive and this is a cool shot too we got some mudder folk <laughs> mudder folk thrill billy mud club this is um once again shows off a lot of the different body types <laughs> in both men and women we got some atvs chilling in the mud we got a cool little uh i don't uh off-road vehicle here maybe a mud track maybe this will there'll be a um, racetrack in the in this country area a lot of trees everglade type vibe and we, we, we got some kids here is that a child that might be a child i think that's a child oh we got children in gta6 i think fellas Either that or they're... Oh, we got a we got a mother we got a monster truck right there. Hold on, back that up. Oh, that's really hard to get a glimpse of. I'll I'll pass it up for now because it's already been twenty six minutes. I want this video to end at some point as well. This is another cool shot. She is dual wielding hammers. She is dual wielding hammers. Maybe we'll be able to dual wield some melee weapons. And she has uh put a hole or a crack in the windshield of this vehicle. I believe in behind her. That's just me assuming. Because it says neighborhood watch don't play around in Hamlet. So uh, she's got some nice slippers on. Um, typical Karen. Ooh, yes. Okay. And then we got a party. Look at the. Hold on. Let's back this up. I want to see this in slow, slow motion. He is jumping off of a table to jump onto another table. We got some kegs. More parties. Um, yeah. Uh, look at that. And then, I know it's really hard to see, but, like, all the drinks splattering and splashing all over the place. Very, very visually impressive for a video game, man. It's a trailer, I know. we got a shopping mall here. Uh, nothing looks familiar. Uh, right off the rip. Nothing does. we got a crane construction in the background. we get got a shot of two police cars. Um, here's Emotion. Probably some pharmaceutical brand oh we get a nice shot of a dashboard too classic dashboard is probably a older vehicle so no touch screen or something let's actually take a look at more of the dashboard okay nothing impressive it's an older vehicle i mean look at the steering wheel you can just smell your grandfather in this thing um so we have a police sedan as well as a police sheriff suv i should say sheriff specifically and it looks like jason driving look at the veins on his arm hold up look at that that is impressive. He's got a watch on, a bandana on. I am guessing this is Jason. Oh, yeah, this is definitely Jason because Lucy is obviously right next to her. Him. And she's got a big wad of cash. Let's take a look at those 50s or 20s. We're going to get through this. Wow. I mean, wow. Wow. No overturning zone. Probably another random event. Looks like those water barrels that we see in GTA 5 actually might splatter water. Or maybe this is some sort of oil spill from the uh, crashed vehicles. Looks cool. Cops arrest man who flipped his car after Pee Wee's Dinah Dash. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. This is so cool. This would be me. Just minding my own business. Just drive around him. Oh, wow. And uh, this is definitely police def uh, police muscle car. It looks like a Hellcat or some sort of muscle car. Very cool. Very cool. Look at the glass. Is that glass shattered? Right there? I think that's, like, meant to be glass. Look at the actual, like, destruction in the road and the water barrels. Not only smashed, but smashed open. And you can see the water trail coming from the water barrels themselves. We have a tire truck right here. I wonder if those tires are tied down. They, I mean, they gotta be. And they're uh, helping them out of the, of the car, too. I just saw in the last shot there. And then we have, uh, looks like some weasel news. Some guy, maybe an antagonist of some sort, getting in or out of jail. Ooh, I like this mask here. Doing some wheelies and like some more like stunt fun emotes. Doing wheelies as well. Look at the shoes. Shoes look nice too. Um, little biker gang. I like this guy's helmet and mask. It looks like Ghost MW2, obviously. Um, very chill. Probably a lower income neighborhood. Very very cool here. Look at all the people doing wheelies, just having a great time, man. Having a great time. Next shot looks like they're shutting down a dirt bike, dirt bags. Cops fail to stop thugs on motorbikes terrorizing Vice City. Leonota. Uh, so, I'm guessing Leonida is the name of the state. 
So Leo, not, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Obviously I'll figure it out. Man sucked up by the water spout demands the city buy him a new suit. That's disgusting. Okay. Some more cars. Ooh, this looks like a Ford Focus right here. That looks very familiar. These look very like lifelike, very um, realistic to the um, real life models, which we saw Rockstar doing more at the end of GT Online. Sewer cap here. Maybe we can go in the sewers, play around with the rats. Porsche here. Looks like a Porsche 911. Shout out Johnny Silverhand. Some more vehicles that we've seen in GTA 5. And this looks like a news helicopter. So this is either showing off or maybe we'll be able to actually watch TV in game. Ooh. We got, it looks like storage in the back of a truck. It looks like uh, like stereo equipment and the records. So maybe we'll actually be able to... Um, put inventory items into bags of trucks and trunks, that sort of thing. Um, now, once again, a woman hanging out the window. Looks like another uh, S4N pimp, maybe? This is another social media thing. Okay. And then we got Jason Lucio. Yes! Walking through a, dr a drugstore of some sort. Or walking out of a drugstore. We got CCTV camera. The, I mean the bottles. I'm looking around at the bottles. Obviously it's paused and it's not going to look perfect. Um, Because it's, you know, it's a YouTube video getting recorded by another YouTube video. I mean look at the signs. They look just so lifelike. We're getting reflections off the plastic bottles and the vodka bottles here. It looks so good. Jason's already got a wad of cash in his hand. They're already probably out the door. I believe Lucia flashes a gun. See, uh, she might have a gun in her hand. I don't know. I got some t-shirts in the background here, too. Very cool, man. Very cool. We got a pawn shop. It may be enterable. Maybe enterable. I see a door. Oh, actually, it is. The door's open. Duh. So we got a gun and pawn shop here. Maybe they just robbed that, and that's what they're peeling off in. Very, very cool, man. Very cool. Hanging out to the windscreen. That's probably... Oop. We get a... We get some uh, bumper stickers here. Granny Hippie. Um, can't really make out too much of that. Speed limit 55. They're going to be going way faster than 55. Very, very cool. Look at all the leaves. Hold on. Look at all the leaves as they peel out in the burnout itself. Look at all the leaves and shit getting kicked up. That looks amazing. And the little puddle here. Wow. Wow. This is probably their really, really low-end apartment that they start out in. I mean, they actually look human. Look at their eyes. Look at their face. The beards, man. I feel like I'm watching a movie trailer. Um, uh, beer bottle, TV remote. I mean, basic interior things. Ooh, nice kick. Um, so they're in the same car here, it looks like. About to rob this liquor store as well. Um, Lucia is the one wielding the gun. Looks like. Got some more um, sodies. A nice, cool looking truck back here. Don't know if I recognize. I oh, said so they both have guns. Is Jason left handed. Lucia's right handed. That'd be cool. Uh, this is such a cool shot. Ooh. That's such a cool shot. So we get a look at a Glock. Yes. I love Glocks. I'm a big Glock fan. Looks like a 1911 pistol in Jason's left hand. Nice, nice. Okay, and then that's it. And then, of course, we also... So this is going to be the logo and coming in 2025. Wow, there's probably so much more I missed. If I missed anything, maybe I can go over another video. Concepts, uh, features, expectations, and all that are coming soon. Anything you guys want to see video purpose-wise, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be sure to do so. Um, with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys are excited. 2025, I was hopeful, maybe hoping end of 2024, but I'll take a release window. I'll take it. I will take it. And I mean, it's still two years away and it already looks this impressive. I'm very, very happy for where we're at right now. Very, very happy. The wait is finally over and another wait begins, a new beginning. Whew. I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe to channel post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.